before I talk about um, other stuff in this video, I do want to say that it will be a very rare thing for me to upload um, Minecraft videos because I don't want to focus my channel around it, but I'll probably upload it every now and then when I get the chance. Also, the one time I'll start really uploading Minecraft videos is Minecraft Story Mode. I'll explain that all later in this video, okay? So, I want to tell a story that um, happened sort of last year. Well, so here what happened. happened. Um, Bellathlon, they actually um, gave me an offer that when I hit high school, I could join a program called CPI. Basically, it's called um, Central Pennsylvania yeah, or something. Uh, Institute of Science and Technology. And I was like, oh, really? And, and, and as the teacher was telling me about it, I was like, oh, and I got rather very interested in it. And I was like, actually considering of joining this when I hit high school, because basically here it goes, you can take it and you can go to CPI, because it's at different buildings, so you have to like take a ride there, and the van will, will come pick you up, to take you there, or take you back to school, so there's one half day there, in, or morning or afternoon, and I was, I was really planning on just considering taking it, because I had, I had the choice of focusing on, alright, sorry, I got distracted, um, focusing on um, what I've always wanted to do with working with computers and all that. However, the catch was if I wanted to CPI, I would have to stop playing the violin, and that's probably one of my most favorite things to do. And I'm actually got the violin. Like I'm not. It's, I. It's hard to explain, right? But the thing is, um, if I wanted to do CPI, I had to give up on the violin because. It just, it wouldn't be able to fit in my schedule if I, let's say if I were to have a lesson for violin in the morning, and if I were, if I had to go to CPI in the morning, well, then I had to miss that lesson. But let's say if I chose CPI in the afternoon, I would miss, because you'll be there in the entire afternoon, I would miss, um, my orchestra rehearsal, let's say if I had an orchestra lesson in the afternoon too, I would miss that also. So basically, that being said, I would not be able to, even be able to, to do violin anymore because there's just no time. So I had to say no to the opportunity. Now, honestly, I was quite surprised and I was telling my friends about this. They're like, why would you pass up an opportunity like that? I mean, you could have probably gotten somewhere really good in life if you didn't pass that. And I was like, yeah, I know, but however, I really like doing the violin and I'm pretty sure I could probably learn something from school because since my dad works for Penn State, I could actually get, um, what, like, I don't know what's it called, but I get something, like, a, sorry, a discount, yeah, I was trying to remember, um, a discount off of it, so, like, no, and also, what's really nice is when I go to Penn State for college, I don't have to live in the dorm for a year because of, um, there's so many students constantly going there and all that, it's going to be filled up because I get to live here at my home. So I'll be stuck here for quite a few years. Yay. Should be exciting. But honestly, I don't really regret my decision of saying no, honestly. Even though that was a really good ch um, chance for me to do it. So, honestly, I mean, it would have been really cool, but yeah. Also, next year, when I start 8th grade, um, I will be taking Chinese, I believe. Because back in 6th grade, I did take a course of Spanish, because it was one of my selected courses. However, I was just not going to Spanish. It was just too hard, Chinese, but easier. So, yeah, I, I thought that was an interesting story to tell about CPI and all. Let's see. I'm gonna look after the website real quick. Um, yeah, because there's like this one, a fan something. Sorry. What's this are about? Oh wow, it was established in 1969. If you guys want, if I ever get the chance, I'll leave the link to um the video to the website in the description of my chance. Probably forget though. Gotta take the shorts off. Oh, okay, yeah. 
So another thing I want to tell you guys about is um yeah, tell that another time. All right, let's talk about what, what we can talk about. I don't know. Oh, so here, here's an interesting story. Um, I accident, not really accident. So there's this kid. Um, it was involves PlayStation. So there's this kid who was sending me room messages because it was all for watching. So if you're watching this, you know who I'm talking about. I, and I got his account banned, and he had to pay like I can't remember like two thousand or something dollars just to get it back, and it took him quite a long time. So I was like, oh, see, I, I have this like hat, and I don't really have. I have this thing where I just do something like somehow I end up doing something bad. I don't know. I feel bad. Honestly, I felt kind of bad because I it's just really cool. like I was just like going along. I contact places so like, well, what if uh, this person's because I mean, they were harassing me, so they're like, well, you know, it's a bike or like something like that. I don't know. So, yeah. Also, um, another thing, I'm not sure if I brought this up, but school will be starting next next month on the 28th. It'll be starting back up. So, I actually am a bit excited for eighth grade. I see who my teachers will be, but I'm not really excited for the homework. And I'm really nervous about social studies because last year I was barely able to pass. I was I was on a thin line of failing um social studies. I'm being completely honest. There's like a six seven I doubt throughout the entire year that had to be that was constantly going up and down. I just really did struggle with that one and since eighth, since um, so studies was my first period, I was very tired. Um, in the morning and all that, it was just very hard for me to focus. So honestly, I mean, it's, I'm just, I was really shocked that I was actually able to pass because what happens in my school, if, if you fail a um, class, you'll have to retake that class. So I would still pass on to eighth grade because I only, I um, failed one class, but I would have to retake that class in eighth grade. So I'm surprised that I was able to pass it. Also, oh, here's a really good story. <laughs> All right. So my teacher, um, I'm up for, out, out of um, course, out of respect for her. Uh, my teacher, gym teacher, she was out for most of the year because she had a baby. But anyway, so we had a substitute teacher for most of the year. And one of the weeks, um, one of the cycles or whatever, we were doing this stupid gymnastic thing, and I ended up getting a mild concussion, a mild concussion, not just that, add-on and whiplash. Um, now if nobody believes me, I'll just do a video sometime, pull, find, I literally still, ha I'm pretty sure I could find the paperwork somewhere, or I believe I still have pictures somewhere I could find of the paperwork of the doctor, um, and all that, from doctors. So yeah, I got a mild concussion, I'm pretty sure I did talk about this on my channel before. I got my, a mild concussion and whiplash, and like, that's probably one of the worst, that's probably one of my worst in injuries ever. Because I have never broken a bone or anything before now. No, and I'm not counting that one in, in I guess I'm not kidding. The one injury from when I actually then we got the boy back cut in my middle finger because it was not as serious as that. My question with left. And let me tell you, it was actually rather interesting because I don't really remember much from that day. But what my friend told me, Alexia, what she told me is that what happened was is that um I end up I, I end up um getting to my arm back and I end up hitting my head against the floor really hard. My neck and head hit it really hard, of course. And like we're on the mat, but yeah, we were on the mat, but I ended up putting my head all that off the mat. So that what caused me whiplash in the mild cushion. And when I went down to the nurse, like it just got worse and I felt really tired. And they're like the nurse was saying like yeah, this was a bit more easy to remember, but the nurse was saying that like if we if we can't get your parents to come get you're probably gonna have to um call an ambulance. I was like Wait, what? No, please don't call an ambulance. 
like, if, like I was really stumbling like I usually do stumble my words a lot if that makes any sense like I mess up on my words my words like that often it's just normal things I speak really quickly um and I was just like really messing up my words I was speaking like very slow and I felt really tired and like my dad couldn't pick me up I felt so bad because he had to stop when we was doing at work that like got four minutes left and it just felt really bad for him, honestly. <laughs> and so, basically, what we did, like, it took me to the doctors and all that. They had, like, we had some checkups for a few weeks. And they they had an excuse for me for gym. And basically, I would just go down to the nurse or um, guy's office. But apparently, the nurse sent, I mean, the, the doctor sent, if, like, after three weeks, the doctor sent a note to school saying it's okay for me to go to gym again. But I have seen out of gym for really half of the year, and I didn't even know. I thought I had to go back to the doctors and got get a note and then bring to school. I thought it was like that. So I accidentally skipped gym for most of the year, and I ended up getting out hundred of I was like, I swear I did not know. I felt bad. I hate gym, but I didn't hate that much to skip it. But near the end of the year, I ended up taking it. I had to go back into it. And I was fine with it. Because my mom was like, hey, Kim, where's your gym clothes? I was like, I haven't been taking gym. It's like, wait, what? And my grade was still at 100, and I was actually really confused. So honestly, I mean, it's not really my fault. But it's not like, really, it's mostly the school's fault because, like, I'm not blaming them a lot, though, because they should have alerted me that. Because um, they knew that I was able to go back in the gym, but they never told me. So there's a little funny story. Honestly, I remember that it's actually really funny. Mm, getting my question, it, it's probably the, it also has really bad headache along with it too. So yeah. Okay, I, what else, what else, I don't think I have really much time to know our story. Hmm, yeah. Oh yeah, there's a little funny thing. So, the other, a few days ago, I was playing um, The Last of Us, and I was in a party with two of my friends, all the birds, and I'm I was playing. Like I said, I was, oh I, I almost said I was playing The Last of Us for some reason, and I, and of course I I lost all my progress to the point where like Ellie and Jewel got under his foot. It's hard to explain, but I was taken back to where Test was, which is the life that I'm still working on. I in Bill's town, trying to get to him and all that. And I was going out, and I, was, and I killed a clicker, and I was opening the door to go find the other one. Then all of a sudden, the clicker got me, and I screamed. And I, I was, like, freaking out. I, and I actually apologized. My mom was screaming. Oh, by the way, tomorrow, um, I'll be making, like, a lemon um, bread or something like that. I don't know exactly. But I'm very excited because, I'm. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just rather excited for it, okay? I'm happy. And I'm like, Mom, you gotta help me on this one, alright? Because I don't want to accidentally burn the house down. Yeah, 